you have this object and this angle is theta and you have weight so this is mg so mg newton and then you have reaction force this will always be the case now in this case if this is a rough surface if this is a rough surface that means when you break down this component into normal to the plane and along the plane so this is mg sin theta and this is mg cos theta now since this is in limiting equilibrium if this is in limiting equilibrium the friction is going to work on that and that friction is going to be maximum friction mu r so this is going to be the situation so the normal to the plane component r and mg cos theta they are going to be equilibrium because they are cancelling each other out and here they are in limiting equilibrium that means friction is going to work so this is going to be mg sin theta and mu r so if you take components along the plane then we are going to have mg sin theta equals to mu r because this is limiting equilibrium friction is going to work now in case of normal to the plane remember even if the object was in motion even if the object was moving not in limiting equilibrium if it was moving even then normal to the plane will be equal because they will always be in equilibrium normal to the plane even if when this is suppose this is a car going uphill even as this is moving normal to the plane will be equal because it's not going to move you know upward and downward it will always be equilibrium like that so here r equals to mg cos theta 